Good afternoon, NSU. I am your student government president, Derek Houston. And I'm your student government vice president, Raven Maxwell. We would like to start by welcoming the new faces and the old faces back to Demon Land. SGA has been working hard this past summer to transition our new senators as well as ourselves into our new offices. The SGA office has been moved from the second floor of the student union to the first floor in room 100. There you can find senators working on current bills and giving away free scantrons to the student body. You can also find your SGA cabinet there. You have Derek and I, our Chief of Staff, Elliot Spain, our Chair of Assembly, Ms. Megan McDaniel, our Communications Director, Director, Ms. Emily Cogburn, our Treasurer, Mr. Richard Chinvert, our Chief Justice, Mr. Charles Wilson, and our Secretary, Ms. Ashley Haynes. All of our office hours are posted in the SGA office. Last year, Raven and I made a commitment to be the voice that students can believe in, and we plan to stay true to that commitment. We have tried our best to get around to the students and hear some of their concerns that have plagued them in the first few weeks of school. One of the biggest concerns was within the financial aid office. While we understand there is a lot of frustration, we want to assure you guys that administration is doing everything they can, they can to alleviate the current problems of going along with our new system. It has not been an easy task, but they have been working day and night as we ask the students to continue to be patient. We want to make you guys aware of some of the things currently going on within SGA. Last spring, a brand new constitution was passed as well as an election code. Within the first couple of meetings this fall, we also passed a new set of bylaws. We want to encourage all students to become familiar with these documents because they are documents that affect not only SGA, but you as well. There are many different things within each document, such as homecoming court rules, Mr. or Miss NSU rules, organizational relief fund, also known as ORF, and a few other things that may pertain to you. As Raven stated, a new constitution has passed last spring. We here in SGA like to make sure everything is in order. We have revised the constitution and made a few changes to, to it in order to better serve the students. It passed with this, within the assembly and will now go to the students for a vote. Everyone should become familiar with the revised copy and vote yes or no on October the 4th. SGA has what is called an organizational relief fund, also known as ARF, for registered RSOs. ARF is a fund designed to assist organizations with expenses for traveling. Currently serving on the board for ARF, for ARF is myself, Financial Director Richard Schimbert, Kyla Whiney, Desmond Payne, Professor Marty Vien, Brittany Fields, Victoria Hippler, and Paige Martin. To find out more about ARF, visit our SGA website on ARCSYNC. Raven and I attended the Council of Student Body Presidents meeting this past weekend. The University of Louisiana system has a big service project coming up entitled Keep Louisiana Beautiful. The details of this project will be learned later in the semester and I will share them with you as soon as possible. So please be on the lookout for that. I was appointed to the Executive Initiatives Committee this weekend as well, so I look forward to working with that. Raven and I were also fortunate to attend La Cuspa. We were able to attend several sessions including some that expanded student involvement in first generation college students. We look forward to implementing a community outreach program within the university. The Assembly passed three budgets on the September 10th meeting. The SGA budget, the current SOS budget, and the yearbook budget. To find, out, to find out more about these, please visit our website on ArcSync. We encourage all students to get active on campus and join the SGA. If anyone is interested in becoming a part of the Assembly, please feel free to contact Raven or I. Or if you feel your place is in the justice system, our Supreme Court Justice is looking for justice as well. For more information, please contact our Chief Justice, Charles Wilson, for further details. We also have committees that students can serve on within SGA. They are Club Sports with Garrett Pierce as its committee head, Lecture and Leisure with Ethan Hay as committee head, Fiscal Affairs with Scott Pichon as committee head, and Kyle Wani and Lamario Forsen serving as committee head for Student Life. Students, please be safe travelers on our campus. There was an incident that happened back in August, and we just want everyone to be safe and be smart. Please take the proper precautions when walking at night and when leaving your home. Do not leave your door unlocked, and make sure to let a roommate or friend know where you are and when you're going to be back. Take these precautions. Taking these precautions can keep you safe and out of harm's way. Congratulations to the students that were nominated for homecoming court and Mr. and Mrs. NSU. Elections will be held for SGA, SAB, homecoming court, Mr. and Mrs. NSU on October the 4th. All students need to get out and vote. Also, get registered to vote for the upcoming presidential election. 
This is an election year that's very vital to our great country, and everyone eligible needs to go vote. Students, faculty, and staff, get registered and cast your vote. Remember to come by the SGA office and get yourself a free Scantron for those test days. You can also get a Domino's Pizza card or even a SGA pen. If you have any questions or concerns for our SGA, please come speak to a senator or even a cabinet member. Get involved, stay aware, be safe, and forkum demons.